Oh, it is incredible some of the heat that we are seeing in the northern hemisphere. You know, obviously it's summertime, right? But you had places like London today topping out at 100. Right and four melted runways. And you know, for us, while we've had some couple of days that have been hot, we haven't really been engulfed in a heat wave, so to speak, because we've been spoiled a lot of this month with the rain and storms and cooler temperatures. But our neighbors just out west, you know, four or five hours from here have been absolutely suffering this summer with this intense heat and we're going to get a taste of it tomorrow and then over the weekend we'll get another taste of some of this extreme heat that we'll try to build in here so looking ahead yes it's about to get awfully hot this time of the year at least you know climatologically speaking this is typically when we see our hottest temperatures of the summer if you go back in the record books and so no surprise this weekend, we are likely to have heat indices above 100. We'll start tomorrow, then a break on Thursday behind this front, and then we'll start to ramp it up Friday into Saturday and Sunday. It is just simply going to be a scorcher around here heading into this big busy weekend. All right, we've got a slight risk for severe storms tomorrow. This is a conditional risk for severe storms. If we're lucky, and we don't see storms, that's amazing. That would be the best case scenario. If we get storms to develop, if we can break what we call a cap on the atmosphere and these storms are able to erupt, they're likely to be pretty volatile and be pretty nasty. So that is what we're watching for tomorrow evening. Now, look at this tomorrow afternoon. Aside from the storm threat, I mentioned it will be dangerously hot. We do have a heat advisory in effect for a good chunk of the tri-state. Heat in the seas for most of us during the peak heat of the afternoon tomorrow, likely to top out between 100 and 105. So yes, storms will have a lot of energy to work with, particularly if they are able to get going. It's uncomfortable out right now. In fact, it feels like it's in the low to mid 90s for most of us with our actual air temperatures only in the 80s, but humidity levels are so high. So it's going to be an uncomfortably warm evening for us around here. We'll be in the 80s through at least 9 o'clock, and tonight's going to be one of those warm, muggy nights where temperatures really struggle to get down into the low 70s. It should stay very warm through most of tonight. So right now we are currently resting at 87 degrees. Look at that dew point in the low 70s. Whenever it's over 70, that's when you start to deal with that very oppressive humidity. You walk outside and you almost immediately start to sweat. Temperatures are just shy of 90 for most of us, generally at about 87 or 88 at the moment. Let me show you future cast. I want to jump ahead here because it's quiet tonight, quiet much of the day tomorrow, but I'd give a window between about 8 and midnight tomorrow, scattered strong to severe storm storms are likely to develop and push through the area and then by midnight we should be quieting down again. It's a conditional risk for severe weather. If we don't get the storms, that's the best case scenario for us. Warm and muggy tonight, 72 tomorrow, 93 dangerously hot. It will feel like it's in excess of 100 with the potential for severe storms late in the evening. There's a look at your day planner again. Make sure you stay well hydrated tomorrow afternoon and evening and you have a way to get those weather alerts. All right, a little break from the intense heat on Thursday. Notice 88, but then Friday, Saturday, Sunday could eclipse some of the hottest weather we've seen so far this summer heading into the weekend before showers and storms early next week kind of bring the heat back in check. Kevin, thanks so much.